And that's one of the reasons why I do it, Adjuster TV and why I train people and and uh because I think it's it's a great career. It's rewarding, especially when you have the opportunities to really help people. And no matter how big or small the claim is, you know, it's it, every single one of those is an opportunity to help somebody because it's you know, even the small little water spot on the ceiling, I mean, it's stressful to that person and they, they don't know, right? They don't know if they need a new roof. They don't know why that happened. They don't know how they've never had to do repairs on the house before, right? Or maybe they're elderly or something and they just don't. So it's every, every claim in a reasonable way, I would, I always say, you know, I'm going to treat every single claim, no matter what, like it's a total loss, right? Right. Yeah. But, you know, you got to read the room. So you're not going to be like, if somebody's just got a hail claim and rarely does anybody get hurt on a hail claim, but, but call him, is everybody okay? First, let me ask you, you know, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Cause people are like, yeah. what do you mean? I got, we just watched it through the window. Like, yeah. So, um, we sat here and watched it just beam our Silverado out there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All the windows broke, but sometimes you do. Like I, I had a, a claim in, um, outside of Rockford, Illinois, and they had three inch hail. I mean, it was monster hail. Oof. It was a great storm. Yeah. I mean, it was, the, the hail hits were overlapping on the roofs. They were just, it was beautiful. Great. But this lady, she lived out uh, maybe 20 minutes outside of town and she had this big, she only had 20 acres out there and a great big outbuilding. And she did an animal rescue, like any kind of animal, right? She rescued them and her like back, the back of her house was overlooking her, like the yard, the basically, basically the paddock between the the house and the barn, you know, so there's a little bit of her yard and then the paddock and then the barn. And when the storm came, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock in the morning, something like that. She's sitting there drinking her coffee inside storm comes and all the animals that are in the yard, like dogs and ducks and chickens and all this kind of every single possible animal right. you can think of it's menagerie. They all run inside to get shelter, but she has this blind horse that's out in the paddock and the blind horse is running around oh freaking out, has no idea where to go, what's happening. She's getting pelted by these great big ice balls. She runs out there like in her nightgown, you know, with her little robe on and runs over and the horse is blind, right? So he can't see her. So she's got to like talk to it and like catch the horse and then bring it inside. And she had her arms were like black from being bruised up from like bringing this horse in. So sometimes people do Yikes. get hurt by those storms, but it's, it's not yeah. often. Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely. So, no, that's, that's, a, you're, I can, and I, I can easily see why, especially when I, right now, this is my first time to really like staying anytime in Illinois or you know, anywhere where there can be like some really drastic, severe weather. And I mean, I, I got a kind of witness firsthand last week. I don't know if you saw those storms that were rolling through Illinois, but I got my first taste of, you know, what it's like to almost be in a tornado. Yeah, really. like, yeah. I mean, I, I was driving and the rain was going one way. I was heading back to my Airbnb. I was about two and a half miles away and the rain was going one way. And then all of a sudden, 10 yards later, the rain starts going the other direction. I'm like, that's not a good place to be. <laughs> and, yeah. and I'm, and it can, I mean, the weather can get, can get nasty, but that's, that's, you know, one of the great parts about, I guess what we do too, is we get a, we kind of got to be there on the other, on the other side of it. Okay. It's all done. Now let's try to make it better. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in the Midwest, so I kind of miss having like the big summer thunderstorms up here. We get them sometimes where I'm at, but not it's not nearly as much as like every afternoon all summer long in Indiana, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska with thunderheads. And it's, you know, it's perfectly good. still and it's 95 degrees and really humid. And then the storm blows in and uh, temperature drops and, you know, 30 degrees. I like what it just happened out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're in Illinois, you said? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I noticed right, it like right by St. Louis. Okay, all right. It's like Granite City area. Uh, I'm I'm in O'Fallon right now. Okay, gotcha. So, right on. But yeah, it was and it was and it was a pretty good pretty good hailstorm down here. There was definitely definitely a lot of damage. Which I mean, this has been a really great deployment for, like, you know, getting your your roof and your siding and your soft metals and all those good all those all those things. It kind of is like your standard typical good hailstorm. Yeah. I worked at St. Louis quite a bit, so. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage 
from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Haig Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Haig Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at HaigEducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.